Tuning in to the greatest podcast out of Atlanta today. We got a very special guest. Hey man, it's Mizzico Dro. Yeah, yeah, man. Would you consider yourself a legend? Man, to be honest, I don't know. So you gotta let everybody else talk. Everybody else had their opinions and all that. Yeah. Well, to me, as a fan of you know your your production and everything, like mm-hmm. hell yeah, cause like like we were just saying, like all the new kids of this generation of music, they like. I ain't gonna say they want to be you, but you surely inspire them and motivate them. You know, mm. the you know the I guess you know expand their way and shit. Cause right. like we were just talking about, like have you ever noticed like they got all these new like plug type of sounds like emo plug, dark plug. Yeah. What you have think noticed. about all that? Um, I think a lot, man. But like I tell everybody and all these interviews and whatever the situation, I tell everybody, man, as long as you taking care of your family. <laughs> Mm-hmm. As long as your mama them good, mm-hmm. I ain't got no problem with it. Yeah. I do y'all thing, but still, let's have some respect, acknowledgements, and all that different type of things. Even though I don't care about none of that, you know, we got stupid, po- stupid cool, excuse me. We mm-hmm. got Polar Boy Shot, we got the plugs. ASAP Beats, we got the plugs. Mm-hmm. So, you know, with all that, man, you know, just you, you give some, somebody some flowers, man, it goes a long way with that person. Most definitely, most definitely. I feel like that too. Um, how you feel about like you know now that you like years went by and you just sit back and just think like you ever thought about like damn I created this whole new fucking wave of. of I mean, I'm I'm I just I'm like I said I'm the type of dude that I don't like to take all credit, man. You know I just don't. But I feel like you got to though, man. You got to like. Mm-hmm. You know you 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 stamped it, you know. It's like I feel like this is your baby. You feel you created some crazy shit for like I said for the next shit, ten to twenty generations down the line. They're always gonna remember you. Right. You feel me? Yeah, I feel that, man. Yeah. Cause I, I, I like for example, oh, I don't know, you know who you know who Schooly is, right? Yeah, of course. You know he, I feel like he created a fucking like a whole different sound. Like he changed the game when the rich kids came out. You know it, yeah. And, and he, in a way, he kind of think like you too. Like he be like, man, I don't want to be like you know. I'm like, nah, but you got to though, mm-hmm. bro. Y'all, y'all started this shit. Hey man, you know? you know we are, we gonna get it all in the end. You yeah. Know, just stay humble. Just handle your business. Do what you have to do. It ain't gotta be. You ain't gotta let everybody know you did this and did that. That ain't. Yeah, I know everybody you know. About. You know like, what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm yeah, the yeah. first rapper that did it. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah and it's, and it's, it's nothing it. wrong with what he's doing. Also, man, yeah. at the end of the day, man, you don't have to do all that. When, you, especially if you got a paper trail of anything that you have going on. So, if you want to, whatever you want to do, you have to have a paper trail of all these things that's going on before you can be able to do and, and, and get what you need at the end. Most definitely. Definitely. So how life been, you know, for you? Life been good, man. Life been treat me real well. Mm-hmm. I woke up today. Yeah, yeah, I woke up today and near time. Like, you know what? Life been doing this thing. I got my parents. Mom, dude, pop, dude, got all of them. So, yeah. That's a blessing, man. That's a blessing for real, for real. Yeah, man. Like, um, I know you just dropped the tape, right? I did, man. Matter of fact, I did. The name of it, Quattro, man. Y'all go check it out, man. Quattro, Quattro is out right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I scream it now. Check it out. You know, how long it took you to put the whole project together? It's a short project too, right? <laughs> yeah, as far as I don't mind. It ain't take me nothing but like, I would say about a month. A month. And that's just with deciding which songs I'm going to do and how many songs I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. So it took me now like a month. A month. Mm-hmm. Is it like more like what you say, like some rush? Like you rushed it or you like actually like, you know, took your time? And- no, nah, it ain't nothing rushed. See, it ain't nothing rich with that because not nobody want to hear no bullshit. Definitely. But nah. I feel like we living in a generation where TikTok fucked up the whole how people, you know, especially the new new generation. Shit, these hits are not lasting. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I feel like these artists, they 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 running, but like, oh shit, I done gave them the biggest hit now. They oh let me put another project. Let me put another one. You get what I'm saying? Correct. So. It, it, that, to me, that's just fucking up the game, man. I should feel like you should just take your time and put some, you know, great work of art that's out right. there. That's right. But, man, I'm telling you, TikTok, that shit just fucked everything up, bro. TikTok definitely had something to do with the attention span on everybody. 
especially with these songs too. Trying to One song doing this, you got a couple thousands of videos of some kids dancing to this one song mm -hmm. until next week when the next song is, is going to be the next dance and the next trends. And <laughs> that's how, how that go, man. It, you know what's crazy? The labels, they so like, man, they, I ain't going to say they thirsty for the, the thing, but I done interviewed a couple artists in what, what the year that was? 2021, 2022, right? Mm -hmm. They had the biggest TikTok fucking hit, right? Right. That's their first song ever. Then you you I wouldn't even consider them a rapper. I consider them a TikTok content creator, and they just mm -hmm. create a song because they love dancing. It went viral. Get with labels. Everybody in his DM. Right. Bro signed for a meal. He was telling me because he came back for the second interview how he fell off and lost everything. You feel me? And he told me basically like he got a million dollar contract. I think he signed to Atlantic. If I'm not mistaken, they fucked him all the way. You know, they fucked him. They wanted him to recreate another TikTok hit, but he's not a rapper. You get what I'm saying? Right. He he can't. He can't recreate that that yeah. hit song. So guess, guess what they do? They shelf his ass. Yeah, that a lot of shit be going down like that too, man. For producers too? Nah, hell nah. For the artists, <laughs> the producers, man. You all right? Say for example, why he did the rapping and all that. Mm -hmm. The producer that made the beat. The producer that got a percentage of this beat. Mm -hmm. The producers, he ain't got to make no goddamn old TikTok song. He ain't got to do all that. Mm -hmm. The artists will have to focus on making these TikTok hits back yeah. to back to back, back. If these people didn't give you a million dollars, how you going to, they advanced you a million dollars. Mm -hmm. How the hell you going to recoup that goddamn million dollars off of TikTok songs? They be trying to sell merch. <laughs> Them folks be trying to do everything. <laughs> but at the same time, man, you know, he like, dude got their money. Mm hmm and dude, if you watch this video, man, go ahead and put some of that money into something that you can get a return from. That's it don't same. matter if you got to, to put it in coins. It don't matter if you got to put it in stocks. It don't matter if you got to put it in the trap. It don't matter about none of that. But you got to think sure. about it. People don't think like you. Nowadays, these artists, they young as hell, and they see their favorite artists, like Gucci down, Louis mm -hmm. down. So guess what they do? Mm -hmm. Go get mm -hmm. Cybertruck, cash out on Cybertruck. Go straight to Louis Vuitton, all these designer shits, and blow the check, and now they they scrambling. And that's this unrealistic as fuck. The people that you see that got all that shit or whatever, they got a team in they behind their back. They got paperwork behind their back to where they have to look like this here, trying to step out. They get a special type of fee where you get, they got to pay for your clothes. Mm. I heard. And if you got a business, you can write that shit out. Oh, yeah. A lot of people don't know about these things, so. A young nigga come in the game, he'll start to get the rapping and start to get to doing this and doing that and spending up all this money. I don't know if he take care of his moms or not. You know, you don't you don't know what the situation is, but yeah, man, that's unrealistic, man. If you a rap out there, especially if you a young rap out there, man, make sure y'all take care and handle y'all business first before y'all sit around here spending money on stupid shit. Tesla cyber trucks and all that dumb ass shit. They get your money first. Make sure you can buy 10 of them before you buy one. Just trying to tell you. They be trying to... Because I, I was a young nigga too, man. I done fucked up some money. Sorry. I done man. fucked up some money. Was 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 that one that one bag you regret fucking up? A bag that I regret fucking up? Yeah. I don't regret no bag of me fucking up nothing. Because I learned from my mistakes. Everything that I go through and everything that I've been through, mm -hmm. I learned from it. That's when I benefit and I, it's why I'm my best. Cause I can say that, oh, you know what? I didn't bump my head once or twice. Oh, I ain't doing that shit a third time. Yeah. Yeah, it ain't gonna be no more head bumping. Most definitely. Most mm -hmm. definitely. And um, let me ask you this: You happy like where you at, like in the music industry wise? What you mean? Like a lot, you know, a lot of people like they in a position where they're like, you know, they're making good money mm -hmm. from the music or whatever, but they're not satisfied. They be like, I still got a lot of work to do. I'm not in the position I want to be. And some people, you know, they just want the money. When they don't want to be famous, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was like, are you happy? Like, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely happy, man. I'm good, man. You know, like I said, man, I'm happy to just wake up. So yeah. I'm, I'm definitely happy. You know, I still got my shit going on. I'm still doing my thing, too, also. Yeah, um, yeah man, it ain't about, it ain't about, it ain't about the destination, man. It's about the journey. Yeah, and all this shit I've been through, man. Everything I've been sat down learning, 
all this money that I done had and money that I didn't touch and money I'm getting and all these different type of things, man, this shit still going how it's going, man. It's just I'm getting smarter. Smarter. I'm getting okay. smarter every day, so you know. Well, I'm, I'm happy about where I'm at right now. I'm twenty eight. Still okay. young. You know what I'm saying? That's a blessing. Especially yeah, I got some more years on well, I don't think just a ladder just anywhere cause sh- Crash out, man. We live in the crash out generation. That's just the young folks. We we not even really living in it. If you, if a motherfucker get off the internet, motherfucker get out these social medias and all that, go actually touch some grass outside. I mean, you will see some bullshit, but you ain't gonna see what is being portrayed on these medias and yeah. all that different type of shit. Like, niggas just gotta goddamn go out, man. It's just it's life is still life. Mm-hmm. And I feel like they're trying to like do that shit for like clout and. Mm-hmm. You know, attention. Well, you know, yeah, not, that's 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 the norm now. That's the thing with these young folks, man. The, the younger people, they out here talking about yeah. like crash out and all that. You know, the crash out was a different definition from when I was growing up. Yeah, most definitely. Like, Hell we, yeah, like we definitely. locked up, and I, we heard somebody was just doing some stupid ass shit. We sat there and read this person's goddamn discovery, <laughs> and he like nigga, like what the fuck? <laughs> was you remedial? Like you got to be slow to crash out. <laughs> So that's, yeah, for sure. So that's what we was using the term crash shot first yeah. Yeah. before it got down what's going on now. Nigga, nigga, nigga say somebody crashed not because somebody didn't slap somebody. That they, oh, you crashed that? You and, know what I mean? And, the same and it's thing. crazy because like some of these people that crashing out to try to prove a point to the homies and you know, you know, some type of bitches, you feel me? They ain't going to be locked. Right up, I'm talking about they gonna be in that bitch crying. We get to the point, so many people that getting locked up are virgins, bro. Like never touch no ass, and they finna do life in that bitch. That's crazy. Yeah, I, I don't, I, I don't want to be like them. Shit, I would goddamn, I was, I was splitting some shit. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I ain't trying to be like them. Man, y'all niggas, man, don't be like them niggas right there. Make sure y'all go split some before y'all even go turn y'all self in. If y'all want to crash out of whatever situation, yeah, let's grow a little bit older before you do some stupid shit. That's like, what I'm you know what I'm saying? Let's just get, let's do that. Yeah, for sure. Then, then, then people like you know, especially like the ones that are doing the crashing out. Some of them never we even went to jail, so they never had the feeling. And when they do go to jail, the first time they're going to jail is for like a murder case, mm. armed robbery. You feel mm. me? The and, first time I go to jail for some bullshit, man. I recommend everybody to go ahead and get your first offenders. Go ahead, go ahead and use that. He said, "Go if ahead." If you don't want to use that first offenders, man, I, I ain't gonna lie. You gonna have to do a little, little something, a little time or something, but. If you niggas want to crash out, get you some first defenders when y'all do. Yeah, I got it. And me. just don't fuck up no more because they going to be on your ass. Boy. Shit, look, I, I feel like Georgia's a blessing too because we got the self-defense, you know, law going on. Then we don't have the three-strike rule like Cali. You know, Cali, you do the same crime thing three times, you out of here. You getting life automatically. Shit, I ain't going to lie. We need that shit. You and, I, and I done got down. I, you talking to a nigga that been locked up multiple times. Man, listen, bro. These street, these little young nigga, man, this shit. I be praying for y'all, little young nigga. I'm talking about everybody, y'all, y'all, young nigga. I be praying for y'all every day. I'm talking about before I touch my phone, I wake up, I roll over. I be wanting to see what time it is so bad. Roll over. I get this shit done. I go ahead and pray. Get on my hands, get on my head, and my knees, and pray to God. Make sure y'all scrape. Make sure we all have a good day. Hey, so you ain't lying because some people ain't making it home that day. That shit crazy, bro. Yeah, that's that's the part about it. Some people ain't even waking up, but I was able to wake up and more, do that. Well, definitely, well, definitely. And you know, we, you were just talking about how like you got locked up, you know, young multiple times. Did that, you feel like, affected your career a lot? No. It didn't? Mm-mm. That was a good pal for me. So whatever I didn't learn, whatever I'd have been through when I was in them situations... You know, I use that yeah. today. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can be able to talk myself into not doing what the fuck I want to do to somebody mm-hmm. or anything because I just don't want to be back in this situation again. I got my mom do it, got my pop do it. Mm-hmm. And last year, <clears throat> you know, they need me. They need me right now. They need me in it. Last year, man, my mom do my pop do both in the hospital at the same time. Mm-hmm. Tell me, serious, serious, another serious shit. So I, um, <clears throat> they need me. 
Mm-hmm. I can't be out here fucking up. I can't get locked up no more. I can't goddamn be in no jail for no year. No, I can't do none of that shit no goddamn more. It's, it's just, I can't do it. Yeah. It's just my time. When when you had to tell yourself enough is enough, like being locked up? Much. Did you have to go get help or you had to... I had to talk to yourself. Like, I had to talk with myself, man. I got tired of myself. I got sick of myself. Because it's like, God damn, how many times you going to keep fucking up? And I know you like to do this, and I know you like to do that, but sometimes you don't need to do that, and you don't need to do this. Sometimes you need to file your ass back, sit down, stay your ass in the house, you know, smoke something. Smoke a drink, chill. Turn on some music. Watch some TV, chill with the dogs. You don't have to keep doing shit that gets you fucked up. And I had to learn from that shit. I talked to myself. I'm talking about how I'm talking now and then talking to you. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I had the same conversation with myself. I'm like, bro, come on, bro. We can't keep doing this. That ain't that ain't no player shit. Players don't get locked up. Mm-hmm. You over here getting locked up. That's crazy, man. Then, like, you know, like, I know at one point, I remember your name was buzzing like crazy. I just mm-hmm. can't remember. It was like 18, 19, I think. It was before COVID. And I think you got locked up. Yeah, 19. That's, yeah, when, 19. I, that's when I came home in uh, December. Now, what is it? December 20th. Right before Christmas. Right before I Christmas. I got out after Christmas. 27th, I think. Got out. And, um, yeah, man. Yeah, and um, you had got locked up, and I guess you disappointed a lot of your fans. It was like, damn, bro, you supposed to be out there with Metro. You know, with this this person, because I know to this day they still say that a lot. A lot of people be like, they feel like you should be up there with like Sony Digital, Metro, like, like that, you know, that, you one of them guys. You know, that's what they say, man. That's what they feel, man. But <clears throat> like I say all the time, man, it's on God time. I'm like I tell you, I'm still in it. You no, know? I just got my little situations. I got whatever I got going on. But when it's time, mm-hmm. God gonna hit me with that blessing. And one thing I always see, I say, God, look. Whatever blessings that I'm missing on right now due to the fact that I'm tripping or whatever the fuck, mm-hmm. please hold that for me later on. D- don't even give it to me right now if I'm going to be out here doing this stupid ass. Let mm-hmm. me go through my shit first. And when I calm down, Lord, please bless me with the blessing that you had in store for me. That's real. Damn, that's real. So even at that time you was getting locked up back to back and you know you was basically a top producer in the moment, you still was like... Fucking up, even though you, I'm pretty sure you had a lot of money coming in, meeting a lot of top people in the industry. Definitely, I was fucking up, man. I was tripping. Yeah. I was tripping. Like you know, some people just, some people, just music. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like they they don't want to do nothing without some music involved. Mm-hmm. But me, I was just a little different. You know what I'm saying? I've been on my own route. Mm-hmm. So as I'm doing this and I'm doing that, I would make a little time to make my beats, make my music, put out sample packs, send beats out, you know, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I just be right back outside on a block somewhere yeah. doing shit. I tell you, that shit's crazy, man. How you feel about this generation now? Because I don't think this is... <laughs> What is this? X? Or what the fuck is it? Generation nah, what? I, man, I think we in. <laughs> I don't know man, what. X, Y, Z, W, I don't know what. Like, I think have. Generation X was like Tana or uh, Slump, Slump 6S, and like, you know that whole little. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about none of that gen, nothing. I just know shit. I, I was born in 95, man. I just know that. Yeah. But this generation, we got what? Uh, we call it Next Spin. I don't know. Oh, you you're talking about the generation? Oh, rap yeah, Underground artists. Rap, yeah. I man, I'm, I'm gonna keep it one thousand, man. Everybody, they don't want nobody sitting here lying to them and shit like that. I don't listen to, I don't, I don't, I, don't, I do not listen to none of this shit. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I listen to old shit. I listen to goddamn. You me. think you getting too old for that? To that type of man, I don't know what the hell they saying on those songs and shit. I don't know what the hell they talking. About. Yeah. I, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to nobody's craft. I'm not trying to goddamn. Nah, that's real though. That's put real. myself on no type of pedestal and act like I'm better than nobody because I'm not better than damn nobody. I just don't listen to none of this shit. Like, all the, I just don't listen to it. And I don't listen to it mainly because, man, you know, I'm a Jesus. I'm I, Jesus. You feel what I'm saying? God. Yeah. Man, I can't listen to nobody got upside down crosses and 
Oh, this goddamn. I don't want to. I don't even want that. Every time I hear some shit from artists like that, nigga, I rebuke that. Nigga, rebuke it. I don't want to hear that. So over all these years, like before I even was born, they kept saying the music industry is the devil. I mean, real? yeah, that's. Man, I, I'm, yeah, like, man, it's. You got <laughs> cognac, man. One like, of, I thought you about it. I'm gonna take a shot for that one. One of the best, one of the best cognacs in the world, man. Y'all go check out Mucat Cognac. Mucat, holla at me, man. I got y'all for sure. <laughs> If you need to take a shot, man, I got you right here. Okay. Every time, man, you got to check them on or not. It's one of the best ones in the world. But as far as how that go, man, <clears throat> if you just look in text, context, like this music shit, bro, that shout it, that shout he, he, that's what he do. Mm-hmm. That's what, yeah, that's what, you know what I'm saying? But you know, they always going to level you as like, you crazy or you conspiracy theorist? When you start speaking on shit like that. Nah, they can go back and text. Like, this this is what literally the man does. That's what he got. God gave him a gift to rule some music. If you look at it right now, man, it just... See, I, I caught on when I was little. Because when I was little, I was listening to everything. I was listening to a lot of rock music at that mm. moment. Like, also music. And them motherfuckers at that time, they would say that shit at the yeah, music. Yeah, they were tripping. They were tripping. Yeah, they were letting it know, like, or the devil don't got this. Like, they were letting it be known. But people thought it was just like, nah, you know, that's just the image. You know, that's the image. Don't fall really with talking. The like, this trick that he ever did, ever got, is to make somebody feel like that ain't real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Dude, they, they try to pitch him as. This person with these horns and all that different type of shit, the creature and all that, man. If you look at it in the Bible, man, home, home, they, this devil was a beautiful angel. He was a, a handsome yeah. angel, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. so the biggest trick that, yeah, what it is, shit, that what it is, to make motherfuckers think he ain't real. But at the same time, man, you know, if you got that gift and you can see, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Shit, you don't worry about all that, man. You got one, you got one journey, one. One thing you mainly focus on, man. How, um, what made you like get closer to God? I've been through a lot, man. I've been through a lot. I'm talking about I ain't, I, man, I ain't, I ain't trying to talk crazy and nothing. Nah, they different type of things, man. But it's been certain situations where I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. This interview would be happening. Did you like had to go to church to get right, or like more yourself like read it on your own and I understand it? I didn't. I didn't go to church to get right. God, you got to. You is a church. You got to build this in you. You got to talk to your God in you. Mm-hmm. You got to establish your relationships. God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit also. Mm-hmm. Got to have these things, man. That's real. That's real. Because I see a lot of people nowadays like they doing good in life, and once like. Life going on their way, they go straight around the church. I mean, you know, have you do it, man? We still, it's still the same goal, man. They trying to get to know God. They trying to get to know their Jesus. But when they get back blessed, they forget about God. Now, I'm pretty. That's sure right, you- and there's nothing wrong with that too, man. Sometimes people need to, they need to go through these things. Just like me, I've been locked up so many times where mm-hmm. it's got to a point where I had to get tired of myself. Just make a change. And so these people can keep continue to do that, and continue to do that, and continue to do that. But it's gonna be one day they be like, you know what, bro? I might stop being a hypocrite. I might realize mm-hmm. and give my life to go ahead and give my life to Jesus. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Let me ask you this. Do you feel like your whole career you got blackballed or slept on? Nah, I mean, I pray it on the I, I, I it may seem like everything ain't working out to everybody else, mm-hmm. but I ask God. You know, I believe in God. I believe in with everything. I'm, I'm talking about, I don't care. Mm-hmm. I told him, Can you please save my blessing until I get right. That's crazy. I'm still 28. I'm still learning. I'm still be able to learn different things so I can articulate myself a lot better mm-hmm. to have people understand me. And be able to, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like when they get to that point, man, I'm going to be unstoppable. Ain't nobody going to fuck with me. What you saying? A million dollars a beat? 
Yeah. Shit, it might be. But I don't want to text. I don't want to text nobody head off from this. We texting them folks. Shit, hey, the label got that money. That bro. one out there, the folks. That the what folks I'm talking about. Yeah. Hey, tax right off, man. They go tax right off. Independent, that right we ain't going to do it, man. <laughs> well, it's definitely. Um, you know, for a lot of underground, you know, starting producers, like, can you tell them, like, one, like, like mistake that like fucked you up being in the music industry as a producer that hopefully they can learn from that and won't do that mistake. Mm. At first, like the, the very start, the goddamn entertainment lord. Mm. Now after my first incident, man, hey, nigga ain't fucking with my business no more. I ain't got damn, I got me Let entertainment me get, lord. They got we you had, a lawyer? No, I got me a lawyer. Oh, you oh. Yeah, the the um the label they ain't they didn't not label but the uh, publishing and stuff they ain't do all that. I, I handled all that, all different type of stuff. At first, I ain't even had none of that publishing, none of that. Mm -hmm. I was just doing everything, independent, independent everything. Yeah. Mm. Damn. So you end up getting a lawyer. And, yeah. And what what happened next? Shit, we we started with yo for <laughs> Get you a good lawyer and get you a great manager Imagine. that you can trust, man. I'm telling you, you can't trust everybody, man. You get you a great manager and you get you a great lawyer. Y'all going up. Hey, that's hard to come across nowadays. A manager, a great loyal manager. Yeah, it ain't a lot of genuine, authentic people. Mm -hmm. It ain't like that no more. You got everybody, a lot of you got a lot of bullshit. Everybody, that's especially these music, uh, you know, like the big in the industry, they know that like they can make some money off your ass mm -hmm. quick and leave your ass once you dry right. up. Correct. It's crazy. You know, uh, we were just talking about like how like um you know like these rappers you know are signing and you know basically declining quick. Do you ever like ever seen when you was coming up in the music industry? Have you ever seen like a label or like somebody use a a, a, a producer to the point where he like dries up and they like use him for everything? Use him for everything, like what you mean? For example. I don't know too much detail about Lex Luthor, but I, like me seeing it as a fan, I feel like that's what they did to him. Oh, Lex Luger? Yeah. Oh, man. I'm going to tell you all something. I used to fuck with Lex Luger, man. I still do, man. I don't know him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, man, his beats back then, even with the Juicy J projects and all yeah, that, everyone. man, you know goddamn where everybody lives in that shit. That shit was hard. West Khalifa, everybody. Yeah, yeah man. So, yeah, Lex, man, I, don't, I, I can't even really comment on his situation because I don't really know his situation. And I know, yeah. All I know is Beats back then was a little different from how it is, how it was in 2016, 17, all yeah. that different type of shit, man. But, man, I don't know. I really don't. I can't even. Yeah. The only thing like, I could is, man, I don't know. I really don't even know. He, you never know what's going on. He probably sitting on them M's. Yeah. But I just always feel like. It ain't too many. Do you know how like artists right now? We got like a, a good amount of artists that's lasting in the game more than ten years. But I feel like producer wise, it ain't that too many producers that you can count in your hand that lasted for decades. Would you say? <laughs> I'm saying still going on right now. You just said that makes what type of genre of, of the shit? We're talking about the beats. No, the, the you said they made a new plug genre. What was oh, it called? Oh, uh, 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 what's that shit? What did I just say? Diary, diary, diary plug. Shit, I ain't gonna lie, man. They got about a hundred of them thing. That's like what number number eighty six. <laughs> yeah, that eighty six. I, right I got lost. Why I ain't gonna lie? I got lost. My hair <laughs> so I'm like what the fuck? Like, yeah, yeah. That that eighty six right there, man. We still alive. We still kicking. And I ain't gonna lie, man. Like even with all this drill beats and the UK beats and now, like man, I ain't gonna hold you, man. That's, we still in. So like you know, so you you got closer to God. Like, what's your beats like now? Oh, they crazy. You be sampling some crazy shit, huh? I don't even sample, man. I don't do oh, no sampling. Shit, you don't. No, I don't not do no sampling. I don't want to do all the clearing and I, I'm not. I'm not with that. I don't like waiting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we ain't doing no sampling. We ain't doing none of that. We make everything from scratch, authentic. I gotta hear some of your new shit, man. I know man, this new crazy. shit so crazy, man. Cause to me, I feel like to me, I was a big fan of like I don't know how to call it, like what holy beats or what. Well, I don't know how to really got to put a name to oh, it. Holy like, beats, some shit like that. It's just like nah, beat. man. I'm still making. I'm still on me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm still doing my thing, man. It's just you know, I lost my my hard drive recently. Yeah, I lost the hard drive, so I had to relearn a little certain shit. Going to old programs and shit, right? You got rusty, huh? Man, listen. 
It be like so that. So I, um, I lost that hard drive, went back to the old programs, seen how I was making these beats. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm applying to that right now. I'm talking about to the day. I'm talking about today. Mm-hmm. So think about all the 2016, 17, 18, whatever beats mm-hmm. today. That shit gonna be like, I ain't gonna lie, them beats times just with some steroids now. Like, you know, I just been putting them motherfuckers out, man. Them folks, they love this shit. You know, uh, I got plenty more work on the way, too. I just dropped with an artist named Brocacito, man. Y'all check that out, man. What's his name? Brocacito. He's a Brazilian artist. Y'all go check him on that. International. Man, we are doing numbers. Hey. Numbers, <laughs> shit, we going crazy. I'm talking about oh, what so that he shit. had. He had what a little, what what I was a two, I went up two hundred and sixteen percent since mm-hmm. since goddamn my money they ever. May y'all two check? Weeks. Oh, two weeks. Yeah. Hey, man, y'all check it out, man. I went two sixteen percent within two weeks, man. Y'all check me on out there on Spotify, man. Y'all most definitely check out Brocasito also. Oh. Um. It was uh, uh, a lady, uh, he a manager for a label named Kev. Um, he was telling me, like, in Russia and Portuguese, mm-hmm. he said, man, like, put your music out there. Mm-hmm. He like, you going to get paid out there. Man, I ain't going to lie, man. I, and I love Brazil, man. They, the Brazilian, boy, they love me. <laughs> I hey, love, you got like, to watch it, though. That's the trenches out man, there in Brazil. Bro. I don't. That I ain't... love them. <laughs> if y'all in the trenches of Brazil... I don't give a fuck where y'all at, man. Y'all, y'all got my love, nigga. I love y'all. Fuck that. Y'all, man, y'all show me a little more love than anybody in the United States. Brazil, man. Because, you know, they put it recently like, in the kind of like the ban list of traveling. Because I guess they're, like, they've been like recently kidnapping like tourists and shit like that. Horn for ransom and shit like that. So, that was like, you know, it's it's reality for these some mm. of these countries, you know. Yeah, for sure. It's reality, for real. They ain't living like us. Everybody ain't living like how we living in America. Shit, we ain't even living how we living in America. Shit, they living better than us. You think so? They property is cheaper. Hey, man, you said some shit right now. Yeah, they property you is cheaper. You want a house? We need about 200000 down payment, interest rate 48%. <laughs> no, no. Where you get a house right now for 200000 Show me. Shit, you got in the hood. I go, shit, in show. the hood. Nah, I, ain't, I don't want to move there no more. I'm not trying to be in the hood no more, nigga. <laughs> man, I'm done, nigga. I'm just, man, I, 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 be, I, be, I be mad as fuck. I be mad as fuck. I got to keep driving up and down Camelton and all this shit. Man, I be like, man, I'm so tired of this shit, man. I'm trying to goddamn, I'm trying to get away from these nigga. I'm trying to get away from the hood, man. I'm so burnt out on this shit. I'm done, man. The hood, man. And I love the hood. Most definitely, I definitely do. Everybody in the hood love me. But I'm just not. See, for me, burnt, for me, it was different. I was raised right here, you know. I done seen everything growing up in Riverdale mm. and shit. Just shooting. Just, it's still killing to this day. Like, what, three weeks ago, somebody just got popped right in the head right here in that family dollar? I believe him. It's like, it's still going on. And to me, since like my, my whole thoughts changed when I had my two daughters. Like, mm-hmm. I don't want to fucking live in what I went through, you know. I want to put them somewhere in, shit, in Doraville or somewhere in Sandy Springs out there where, you know, with them people in yeah. better environment communities and you ain't got to worry about nobody trying to kick your dough in or getting shot over not giving somebody 50 cents and spare some, changes. Some, some, some stupid shit, man. Like, and a lot of these folk, they be getting killed, man. You see they reasons why they dying and seeing what the fuck was going. It's be some stupid ass yeah. shit. I'm talking about a nigga that got them made it all these years. Just that that was some stupid shit. They mama is sick. They folks sick. They like, oh my God, I can't believe he made it. 32 and goddamn want to see a nigga dope and die. They or say do do this and that. Like, and when on. they leave, sometimes they put their parents in more in debt because shit. Or make, about, make a song about a nigga that he don't even know and die. Like, he be like, man, I ain't goddamn been... <laughs> Now now that, this is too that, bad that, that he got down, sat down, died. This is somebody who died. Man, come on, bro. That's crazy, right there. Yeah, yeah that man. was going on though. I know that going on, man. That's that stupid ass clout shit, man. That's that goddamn social media. You, you seen man. the one that on that that uh then what's the fuck his name was from Philly, right? The one that went viral for digging up that dude his op's grave and he died like I think like a couple days later. He dug up somebody's grave. Hell yeah. Huh? What's his name? Doctor Disrespectful. Yeah. That was hitting that, yeah. It was Philly, it was going viral. Somebody dug up somebody's grave. That man went to man Ob's grave and pff, with a shovel. Pff, pff, like, shooting a music video. Shit, get what, nigga? We live in end times. This shit get what? Get what came yeah. with that? Broke on too. Who? 
He he died. I know. I know he had to goddamn go somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> man, you done played with the dead like that? <laughs> oh, no, man. But I blame fucking social. Social media is the devil, too, now. Yeah, for that, sure. That's it the is. devil right there running that. Like, it is. They so focused. Like, how many likes you think I'm about to get digging up his grave? Man, I done seen niggas do stupid shit just to get a picture, man. I'm talking about... I done seen niggas pay niggas to take pictures in front of people's cars. In Atlanta, I, I ain't, ain't gonna. I done uh, seen. I'm talking. About, I had seen a lot of shit, man. I done seen some of these women, goddamn. You know what I? Ain't, you don't even know that, man. I had my head sick, man. I had some some women came up. They take a picture in front of your truck, this and that, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like they just, it's it's a lot of shit, bro. Like and then they gonna put it on their shit, like they goddamn pulled up with it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like they clean. <laughs> No, nah, for real, it's a lot. I'm talking about it's a lot of that going on. That's a lot of shit. Or that's everywhere. I don't know about it everywhere, man. All I know, <laughs> all I know is, man, I've been in Atlanta so goddamn long, man. Stop I just it. recently went to New York and California, probably like what about within two years. About two years cycling and shit like that. For your first time, you just went out there. Yeah, my first time ever going to New York and California, and I think these was the New York trip was my second time getting on a plane, I believe. And my Scared California head. trip was my third time getting on the plane. Yeah, you passed out in the plane, did you? Nah, man, I wanted to. You scared of hell, huh? Nah, I made sure I had some gum. Because, you know, they got their oh, yeah, ear yeah, to... Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. get away, man. I was, man, I was chewing. I was chewing. I wasn't trying to feel that ear shit. Because the first time I done got them felt that when I was a baby. I ain't... No, nah, not no more. <laughs> I had to stop him from vaping. Oh, you was on that shit? That vape? Yeah, I was, I was fucking with that shit on the hey, plane and shit. I'm glad you ain't on the whippets. I'm gonna tell y'all something. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell y'all something. Before this, for the whip shit got, you know what I'm saying? Like this was a trend and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. You was on that shit. I not on it. Like I'm just addicted to that motherfucker. I was on that bit for like a week straight, like a week and a half straight. Mm-hmm. I was getting look cartridges and shit like that. Then yeah. I had graduated to the big motherfucker. <sighs> then I had graduated to the big motherfucker and the balloon. Ooh, so yeah. niggas got damn right. He be walking around, <laughs> geeked up in the mall, filled plows of buying shit. I was just buying, hit the damn shit, buying shit. Let me, I want that. Yeah. Just buying all type of shit, man, just on them goddamn whips. But that shit right there is a brain seal killer. They tell you on the thing, don't they? Hell, dangerous. It's helium. <clears throat> you ain't put a goddamn inhale in that shit. That shit is supposed to keep balloons afloat. They said Aladdin started that shit, but I feel like that shit been in the game for the, for a minute, bro. I don't know, man. All I know is I started off with the little small little motherfucker. You got them screw the cap in, and to the big motherfucker, you got them screw the top in. Yeah, man. I seen the ones the fat ass. They like big fatty fuck, and they got like a, a strap to go with it. Oh no, nah, that's for the professional whippets, whippers. <laughs> no <more money. laughs> that's the professional whippers, huh? Yeah, I don't want. I don't want. No, nah, oh, nah, you never see those yet. A nigga can't even come my studio session with one of them motherfuckers. If he don't got, if he big. got the the, you said it's like a goddamn. Like yeah, a, look, come with a scrap, like on a, on a. So on it's a whip purse. So, <laughs> oh man, hell no, nah. y'all niggas, man, come on, man. Hey, that you put it like that, hell yeah, it's a whip whip it purse. Man, y'all get out that shit, man. Man, I don't know, man. It's a youth. The youth so Hell nah. Do a real drug. Get out that shit. Fuck that. If you got them wanna do some drugs, then fuck you up. Do you something know what else. It is, though, for real? Shit. All the OGs are dead or locked up, so ain't no structure out here. No, nah, these young niggas don't want to listen. They gonna do what the fuck they wanna do. <laughs> they don't listen to them OGs. But and we was young too at one point. We still listen to some what people now. I know I was man, bro, I was around everybody older than me. I was around the OGs. I'm talking about learning and soaking up game from OGs. Yeah. I can name a bunch of them right now, but I just I ain't gonna put their names out there. Mm-hmm. But me, yeah, I was around man, I, I was raised by OGs. So everything that I was doing and I was getting locked up and all this man you telling me, nigga, you stupid. The hell they run with you, nigga. Oh yeah, again, locked up. Nigga, don't no play I get locked up, nigga. That's mm-hmm. why I learned. Don't no play I get locked up so, yeah. from the OG. Now these young niggas here, they have different plans. They, they don't try. care. Yo, shoot yeah, your yeah. ass. You speak some shit, bro. And you tell the niggas, man. <laughs> you look like you need a hug. Pow. <laughs> now you, now you, now your thigh is gone. Damn. Yeah, on, man. On five five news, like man, just trying to tell him what to do. Shh, I done seen it, bro. I was just trying to help the young nigga. <laughs> This shit's crazy, bro. This shit's crazy. Man. Yeah, man, they don't, they don't like to listen, man. They got their own situations, their own shit going on. Was you ever on a drug where, like, you felt like you had a big scare? A like, big um, scare? Yeah. 
I ain't gonna say that. Oh like, man, like OD yeah. Or um, <clears throat> this is a few years ago, man. I know goddamn well I shouldn't have been popping nothing else in my motherfucking life, but I sat down, took a chance, and popped something. God showed me. He showed me this time. He like, nigga, you don't pop nothing else. What was his name? It was a thirty inbox, thirty. Oh, man, and what you do here with them inboxes, you split them up into folds. Well, that's how we used to do. That's how I was doing back then. You split them up to folds. Split them up. So. Fold. Took one, took one, the, the half, the mm-hmm. the quarter, whatever situation there, didn't feel it. Ended up taking the half in total, didn't feel it. Took another quarter, felt so talking sure. to my aunties and them. <laughs> so I'm goddamn just started getting the sweating and shit. <laughs> I'm about, I'm like, this shit kicked in. Oh, yeah, gonna, yeah, so I'm getting the sweating. I, I started to know something going on. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I, I just know something going on. I know it's getting serious. You know what I'm saying? So I had to get serious, too. Walk on the side of the house. I went to grab me a big-ass thing of water. Mm-hmm. Grabbed that water. I went to turn the fan on, the living room fan. I sat on the couch. I pulled my socks out. I started drinking that water, chugging the water. Because I knew for a fact that I was about to go out. I just didn't know how I was going to go out. Mm-hmm. But I just had to keep doing that. I was just drinking the hell out of that water. I had my socks off and I had it fanned up. Yeah, for real. I'm talking about, yeah, I, I, I know this. I know what to do, man. I know what to do, man. Did that. Took me like 30 minutes to get right. After that, I just left, man. That was my scare right there. This shit happened a couple years ago, too. And it was, you know what it was? What? That wasn't no real inbox. That was fit. Huh? For sure, that was fit. And I ain't take no pills in a long time. So the pills I would taking back then, mm-hmm. they had some of that shit in there. But this time, I wasn't used to taking that shit no goddamn more. And I took that shit. I'm thinking it's the real thing. It looked just like, I'm talking about. Mexico would have been gone, man. Like, <coughs> long little rich home, man. But it probably would have been a situation like that. Shit. But I was, the Lord and came through. He said, you know what? I ain't done with you yet, bro. That's real, for real, bro. She gotta be careful, especially nowadays. They got so much fake. They got fake weed going on now. You heard about Shit, that? Don't make me start smoking some weed, now, my God. <laughs> they got Shit, the spray bro. on. They got the spray on. <laughs> Y'all niggas tampering with the weed, bro. Can't, nobody can't do nothing no more, bro. They gotta find a way to get more high, I guess. I don't want to get more high, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> No, it's was great, man. I yeah. got down. I smoke. I smoke normally when I'm about to lay down and stuff. When I'm chilling with my dogs, we do. A, I put a concert on in the house, man. We in that. We in up just jumping around, listening to music, having fun. Me and my dogs. I got a Belgian Malinois and I got a pit bull, a red and old. Man, that's how we do, man. I want, time. I want your take on um, what you think about this generation of females. Oh shit! I ain't gonna <laughs> lie, man. They got damn. They they. Everything transactional. They want some money. I feel, man, ain't nothing wrong with them. Want some money too, you know. I want, I want some money. But that's you know what I'm like saying. Low key prostitute shit, right? Where they like everybody, I, every female. I feel like they want their bills paid because they hear the music. Mm-hmm. And you know, I ain't gonna say no names, but certain big female artists in the industry putting it into the music. Mm-hmm. And some of these fans, all these girls putting that shit in the music. Every yeah. girl rapping right now putting that shit into the goddamn music. <laughs> But my thing is with that, man, all females ain't the same. Motherfucker got to go outside. They got to go touch some grass. There's some good women out here. You know what I'm saying? You just got to find. It's, it's hard to find. Don't yeah, get me fucked it. up. Like, it's very <laughs> hard to find out here, but are you looking in the right places? Not even that. They're going to be loyal, too. Because that loyalty shit, like, see yeah, marriage, man, marriage is declining. Yeah, they got them, you know, yeah, they, they, I feel you on that, man. But everybody want to fuck on everybody. I feel, I feel like, like I feel like a motherfucker got to just have their shit intact. Like, you got to, like, how you came in is how you should leave, you feel me? You came in to the end. You supposed to goddamn keep yourself up. You supposed to goddamn do your shit and all this shit. So you show that same girl that you dealing with, you ain't nothing to play with. And if you got them make a decision where you want to do that or whatever situation is, else, shit, bye. Mm. She know how easy it is. You go out there. Hey, how you doing? What's your name? It, 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 easy. All motherfucker got to do is just smile. If you got a straight TV and you handsome, on to the next one right now. 
So you got so you got to have you got to make sure this woman that you dealing with yeah is not finna fuck up on your end. Oh, definitely. But let me ask you this: and you got like a somewhat like a celebrity status, right? I don't know if you want to call yourself a celebrity. No, I ain't, I'm, I'm, I'm Mexico, man. I'm just, but yeah, but like, do you? I'm like, a lamb, man. I ain't no goat. I'm a lamb. <laughs> yeah, I'm a lamb for real. Do you ever like when you meet a new female? Do you ever let her know, like, especially if they don't know who you is, like, you know, they don't know that you, you know, you rap, you make mm-hmm. beats. Do you like you ever bring it up to them? No, nope. you keep that shit a secret. You never supposed to do that. You never about to do that. You do shit, that. Nah, they no folks already. Hey man, I say I do, I do this. I, I'm a rapper. They talking too much. <laughs> so yeah, man, they talking too much. That's as equivalent as you leading with your money. You never do that. You be secretive and private about your life where you getting this money. You be secret and private about your money, especially to these women. These women find out, oh, this nigga gives some shit. I'm, I'm good. He got me later on. And that shit don't work like that. I might get pregnant. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. I'm telling you, exactly, man. There's been some times. He, I, ain't, I, I mean, I ain't even say nothing, man. I'm going to drop this baby. I'm Actually, there's been some times some women thought they were going to get pregnant by me. Just fine. Back then, I was taking, I was popping pills, <laughs> sipping, drink. I'm talking about that was a, a, a meal birth control. <laughs> so here at the time, they sitting there thinking, oh, I'm finna the get pregnant. I'm finna like, this baby. I'm finna. Man, little do she know, nigga. I didn't, you feel what I'm saying? Like, man, back then, I was popping. They used to slick and bend it up. I was popping bundles of pills and, and, and <laughs> sipping bundles of drinks. It was just like, sh- they were wishing for and hoping for hopes and dreams. I try to tell you, man. I try to tell you. That shit crazy. So, you know, you're expanding your, you know, your, your talents to, you know, making music now. Mm-hmm. What you prefer, like, now? Prefer who? Like, what you prefer, like, making beats or, like, more rapping now? I still prefer making beats, man. Yeah. I, the, the rapping is something that I, I'm going to keep it 1,000. The rapping is some shit that I do when I've been drinking and shit, like, a little bit. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Then I be, be like, nigga, fuck, dude, I'm going to make a song. But I don't be wanting to just sit there and oh, I'm going to make a song. i to write this shit. It take me, like, two to three days to write a song. Mm-hmm. Just to make one song. Yeah. It's not because I'm not, you know, smart enough to do so. It's not because I'm, you know what I'm saying? It's just the fact that I'm not a rapper. I'm not an artist. So Mm -hmm. you got to stay in your lane. But it's just some shit that I'm good at. And it's some shit that I can do. And a lot of people like this shit. And they tell, the only reason I dropped the EP is because I had a whole bunch of people sit there and tell me, bro, like, come on, bro, we need some music, bro. What the hell you doing? You bullshitting. So I'm like, okay, let me go ahead and go. I'm going to drop some. I tell everybody who even come to me and ask me about some musical EPs and all that. I be like, man, you know what, bro? Just give me a little second, man. I'm still trying to get my mail to right now that, but I promise you, I got you. I'm going to drop. Yeah. yeah. That shit's crazy, man. And like, um, you know, working on future projects, who you been, um, you know, some artists that you've been working with mm. on the, like on the production side? Artists I've been working with. I got some big names, but I ain't gonna say their names. But artists I have been working with was Broke Cito. Mm-hmm. I'm working with a few artists, man. I don't know if I even should say their names. I don't know. What is it like? Yeah, yeah. I, I just this, I'm working with a few yeah. good name artists. You know, it's what like saying? exclusive with the names. Yeah, like some exclusive names for sure. That shit crazy, mm-hmm. right now. Yeah. Do you feel like a lot of people are preying on your downfall, or they feel or you feel like you got more love than hate? I don't know shit. I don't, if anybody is praying on my downfall, man, let me tell y'all right now, nigga, you won't win. I got a gut that don't play about me. He don't play. Jesus don't play about me. Nobody that play about me in my circle. So you ain't gonna win, even if you is hanging on me or whatever. You can keep hanging, nigga. But one thing I can say is, I do got a lot of love. I got a lot of love. I got a lot of fan love. I got a lot of fuck out of other love. I got fan love. Yeah, them, they they really love me, man. Yeah. And I love them have too. You, have you seen that shit? I love them too. Every fan that be coming up to me talking to me in public, I be embracing them. I be like, man, hey, bro, it's good. They be like, oh, you met go Joe? Oh, my God, I can't believe. Be like, shit, I can't believe I met you, nigga. Get, what's up? Oh, shit. Like, bro, yeah, sure. Come on, man. 
There you go. Hey, everybody out there, y'all can't vouch and say that. Man, who? Nah, that's, that's real love. though, because you got some Hollywood motherfuckers over here that just look at you like. Oh, let them do their thing. Shit, that, that's them, man. That's I'm, I'm, I connect with my folks, man. I don't care, bro. I'm not bigger than nobody. But you got to think about it. Without the fans, you won't be a, a hot artist. Because, you, you know, you the fans won't. ain't fuck with you. You won't be selling no music. Exactly. Without them, you know, you won't be making no money. You ain't going to make no money. You ain't going to do shit. Yeah. You ain't going to have no motivation to do that without the so people I, I that support you. I don't you. ever get it why some artists just, you know, take that route. Like, you know, try to act like that. Let them do their thing, man. You know, that, if that's they. <laughs> They niche and they way of doing their thing. Shit, that's what it is. Yeah. But me, oh man, I'm showing love, man. We, we listen. I love every last fan, every last supporter. I don't even like to call y'all fans. I like to call y'all supporters. Supporter. Y'all love every last one of y'all, man. I appreciate y'all for y'all listens. I appreciate y'all for the screens. I appreciate y'all for the uh, coming at me to critique, coming at me and shit, telling me what this and that, what you like about this and that. I appreciate all that, man, because I need that. I need some folks to be able to come and tell me and let me know, hey, man, I ain't feeling this. Or, hey, bro, this shit hard. Like, I need all that. And I don't like motherfuckers that lie to me, so I ain't going to lie to them. Is there an age limit where you finna, like, just hang it up? For music? Yeah. <sighs> to you. You feel like you got an age limit? Like, oh, when I hit this, by probably like 40, I'm going to just say fuck it. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not... I'm not trying. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I'm gonna be doing music forever, man. It's just in me. It's just it's like I was born shit. with it. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. taking it real DLC or later on, probably I don't know. But I want other shit. I want to do. It's this this bigger shit that I want to do. Mm -hmm. You know, it's always better to think bigger. I'm thinking about real estate. Mm -hmm. Think about selling cars. Think about doing this and doing that. Another thing I did think about, and I can show this too on the podcast or whatever, I just signed up to be a welder, learning oh, yeah. learning welding and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the reason I did that is because I want to be in my dog, a dog house. I'm talking about a real big, fat dog house in the back of my home. Yeah, You know what I'm saying? So I want to do that, but I do know that welding can take people places. Hey, so yeah. there ain't no problem with me. Just don't go welding under sea, bro. You want some beats or you just want some welding? Just don't go bro. You want oh, beats of wheel, the nigga? <laughs> yeah, nigga, I get your frame right in your old school. Let me build you a goddamn yeah, steel booth. Yeah, come on, man. We, we this. I want to learn that shit, bro. Fuck them beats. Fuck all that. Shit. Fuck all, all right. that shit. Now I'm trying to be a jack of all trades. Yeah, I'm trying to be the person that anybody can cut me. Shit, I need my goddamn walls done, or I need to paint my walls, or I need See, welding, that, or I need that, some that, shit, that, or that, I need a beat. You know what I'm saying? That's a skill that I learned when I got kicked out of high school. You know, my dad was like, man, you come to construction one. Bring your ass over here. So I learned. I learned a you lot. You did that? I, I know how to. Oh, I, know, you, yeah. I, I know how to build some shit. Okay. Now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now. Me and my sure. brothers, we know how to build some shit. You know, just. And me, I ain't never had no job before. And me thinking young, I'm like, man, what the fuck is going to help me in the future? But now I realize, like, mm -hmm. damn, you get your own house. You ain't got to pay nobody. You could just go in there, demolish, yeah, do your do thing, your own. build that bitch and handle your business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This shit crazy, bro. For this sure. Crazy, crazy. Hell yeah. What else you got in store? Oh, man. Um, man, a lot of shit, man. You know, I'm um, working in my hell. Doing my thing, working, bro. Stand out the way, stand out of sucker way, ducking suckers. That's all I've been doing. Man. I've been doing this shit the whole summer, the whole winter. Man, I've been doing this shit for years, ducking suckers. I don't want to hang around no sucker. I don't want to hang around no nigga who ain't got their own mindset. I don't want to hang around nobody who ain't got shit going for themselves. That's real. I don't want to mm -hmm. hang around no motherfucker talking about they doing this and doing that and no crashing that shit. I want to hang around straight, smart motherfuckers, straight, smart individuals who know how to make things happen and who yeah. make things happen for themselves because that gives me a fuel. It makes me make things happen for myself. Instead nah, of hanging real. around these yeah, bullshit yeah. ass people, I ain't going to never get nothing done. So if that's the case, I ain't hanging around no goddamn body. What the, what the saying is, like you hang around with a couple of millionaires, you're going to be the next millionaire? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That shit true, man. I done, I done, I done seen some shit. And you shit hang around two shit. diamonds, two crash shots, you going to be the third. To go to jail with, though. Yeah, it's going to be the third diamond <laughs> and third crash shot for sure. That's just what it is, man. A conspiracy, not a conspiracy, man. But hell yeah, man. What else you got in store for us, man? Man, you know. I like, bro. I like. I feel like, in a way, you mysterious, bro. Like, 
I don't know. You, oh, you just low key as fuck. I just be by myself a lot, man. So everything that I be having in my head, man, I just be just this is what I got going on. And when shit come out, that when shit come out. When I drop these projects or whatever situation, then I drop them. It's not really me being mysterious because I'm trying to act like this or mm-hmm. trying to do this to get. You know what I'm saying? It's not none of that. But man, I like to I like to play with my dogs and shit. Cut my grass and. You know what I'm saying? Regular life shit. I be living life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, motherfucker really see me outside. You'll see me outside somewhere at the Publix or Kroger or whatever the fuck. Now I'm day moon. I like to go to now I'm day moon. That's where I get my fish. You know, I'm going to be seeing me all the time out there. I be getting my fish, my parrot fish. Sometimes I like to get my black bass. Yo, sometimes I like to get the king salmon. I go grill that on the goddamn grill. Me and the dogs is eating. I do shit like that. I have real, I, I live life. You know what I mean? What's that? What's that? That shit crazy, bro. So you, so you eating, you eating more. What they call it nowadays? The the food so processed. What they call it? More wiser. What the hell they be saying? Like, I forgot what the saying is. They be eating more food with nutrients. Yeah, some shit. Yeah, like for that. sure. I'm a pescatarian, man, and I be trying to eat as much nutrients as I can, man. I go work out and I run every day. I run between three to five miles daily. Before Man. I used to run eight miles, eight ten miles every day. Sheesh, health, health is wealth. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you, man. Health definitely will. I started doing all that, man. I started feeling my heart, like you know what I'm saying, like. Especially you getting, you know, we get you get to the age, but like you know, thirties coming soon. Not even that. I'm, I, I was goddamn doing drugs. So I started feeling the goddamn side effects. You know what I'm saying? So, feel like an old man out this bitch. Man, man, I was feeling, I started to feel old when I was like 25. Man, I had to start changing different things, man. I had to start focusing on my health, focus on what I'm goddamn seeing, what I'm reading, what's going into me, and what's coming out. I had to start doing all that, man, because I was doing nothing but putting the wrong shit in me. I'm sitting around smoking cigarettes, drinking beers, and uh, drinking liquor, smoking weed, popping sand, popping perch, That's sipping a drink. Crazy combo, bro. Man, I'm, all this bro. shit in one day. This in one. This is in a day. Hey, sheesh. I used to do that same shit, man. Just I wasn't living right. You know what I mean? I was still maintaining, but I just was not living right. I wasn't living and right. The way you were rotting from the inside, bro. Yeah, I was rotting from the inside. Look good on the out, but I was just it. Was, the inside was just mold. You know what I'm saying? Damn, like, yeah, for boy, sure. Man, I had, I had to clean it up, bro. I had to clean it up. Everything ain't mold no more, man. Everything refreshed. It's been time. Man, I had to sit there and do my fast for 15 of two weeks. Yeah. Without no food, drink water. Shit yeah. like that. The most I ever went on the fast was 27 days. I ain't touched the money. I ain't touched the money at all. 27 days when I went, mm-hmm. the longest without eating food. Damn. Drinking straight water and drinking straight coconut water. Oh, damn. Just stay hydrated. That's crazy. One more question before we head out. What's your favorite all-time movie that you could put somebody on to they could go watch? Man, that shit hard, man. I don't even watch no damn TV, man. Shit. I said I don't watch TV. Yeah, I don't watch TV. I don't watch no TV. I don't, I don't watch TVs or movies. Mm-mm. Damn, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I start watching. I think I start watching TV like right after COVID. I really put that shit down. Man, I start watching. Stop watching TV like after robbing big. Goddamn. Ooh. After that Ridiculous. shit. Ridiculous. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> nigga, I got tired of seeing them goddamn reruns, I, man. I, I grew up on that shit. Viva La Bam and all that shit. Yeah, that's man. the last time I was they watching TV. They man. don't make shit like that no more. They don't. Cartoons. Some bullshit. They're trying to be like, I ain't even gonna speak on it, but yeah, cartoons crazy, bro. All these little reality shows and shit. I don't like watching that shit, bro. That shit just, I don't like watching drama and shit. Yeah. I don't like doing that. I'm trying to really think, man. All time movie. Man, that shit hard, man. I don't damn know, man. I can't. Well, I gotta take a shot if I don't know. You go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, uh, I ain't gonna say they, they shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but these the creativity champs, man. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, that shit's crazy. But man, where can I find you? Like all social media platforms. Man, you can find me on Instagram at Mexico Dro M E S I K O D R O. You can find me on Twitter, Mexico Dro Four. The number four. You can find me on 
I don't know about none of that, all that other shit, man. You just got to just search me up. Like, I'm not really. And I told my people that I was going to start learning this social media and getting better with it. I've been getting better with it a little bit, but it's still some things I got to find out and figure out. You gonna learn? You gonna get done? Yeah, I'm gonna learn, y'all, man. I just gotta have patience, man. Hell yeah, man! Appreciate you for coming out here, and showing love to the pod, man. Every yeah. time, man. I appreciate you for having me out here, man. Most definitely, man. Creativity, man. One of the best podcasts out there, man. Y'all come and fuck with them. Most definitely, I appreciate that. You know it.